You might skip over a lot of the settings in your Nikon Z camera because first of all, there are an overwhelming number of settings. They're not organized very well. And then second, the name of that menu item doesn't really describe to you what that setting does. One of these might be fine tune optimal exposure buried in the custom settings B group. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. You can think of the fine tune optimal exposure setting as like an exposure offset for the various metering modes found in Nikon cameras, matrix, center weighted, spot, and highlight weighted. I'm not gonna go through the differences of what all those metering modes do in this video. We do go through all of those with examples and all of the other exposure settings in the Nikon Z Photography Fundamentals course which you will find linked in the video description here, along with a coupon for 20% off. But if you are already familiar with all of those, this is a way for you to offset the default exposure for the various metering modes that you might be using. So this might lead you to ask, what are you talking about? Like, why would I wanna offset one of these? And, and what does that even mean? Well, here's an example, and I think Let's just kind of back up and start with an example of what exactly this is talking about. You might wanna to go to the highlight weighted metering mode to preserve the highlights, to prevent any clipping of the brightest areas of your picture. Like this scene right here, there's a lot of really bright sunlit snow on that mountain. And if I left it in matrix right here, that snow might be clipped, it might be overexposed or pure white, so I no longer have any texture in the snow on those mountains. So what I could do is go to the highlight weighted metering mode, which is going to prioritize the brightest areas of the pictures and preserve those, underexpose them intentionally so that you protect those highlight areas. But as you see here, when I go to highlight weighted, it makes that exposure way too dark. The sunlit snow is brought to the middle of the histogram. I find this way too dark. I know you're trying to protect the highlights, but I don't need my highlight areas down in the middle of the histogram. So whenever I use highlight weighted metering mode, and as a disclaimer, I'm in matrix 99% of the time. I just wanna give this example here. If I do go to highlight weighted, and to me, it's always way too underexposed and highlight weighted, I can program an offset. If you go to that fine tune optimal exposure setting, again, found in the custom settings B group, you can program an offset, a default offset for each one of those metering modes as you use them. So it's gonna give you this warning here that pops up that's gonna let you know there's no indication to you that one of these offsets is programmed when you go to that metering mode. So you're just gonna need to remember that you've done this but I'm gonna to go to highlight weighted and adjust that plus three over six or plus a half a stop. That means that when I go to highlight weighted metering mode now, the camera, instead of making that histogram, the highlights down there in the middle, is going to overexpose them from what the camera wants to do by a half a stop, which is closer to what I want to see when I am trying to preserve those highlights. You can program from negative one to positive one stops in these menus for each one of these metering modes in one six stop increments. And you're just gonna have to play around with it until you fine tune how that metering mode is exposed for you. So that's the gist of it. Now I'd really only recommend that you do this if you are 100% all the time wanting to intentionally overexpose or underexpose a particular metering mode. I wouldn't use this as like a styling choice for certain scenarios where you have to go into this menu, program an offset, and then the next time you use that metering mode in a different situation, you have to program a different offset. Only use it to intentionally over or underexpose a certain metering mode all the time. Now I could, instead of programming this uh, in highlight weighted metering mode to overexpose by half a stop, I could just use my exposure compensation to overexpose every time I go to that highlight weighted metering mode. But again, this is something that I want to do every time I'm in highlight weighted. So I'm gonna program it in that offset. 
if I want to make other stylistic choices that are situation dependent, then I'm going to use the exposure compensation feature to over or underexpose for that particular scene. So that's the quick and dirty of the fine tune optimal exposure setting found in Nikon Z cameras. If you have any further questions about this, please let me know in the comments. And also if you are already using this setting or you thought of another use case where you might want to use this setting, again, let us know so that we can all learn uh, here in this video. If you wanna learn more about the exposure modes in general, uh, all the different ways you can customize your exposure, use the different exposure modes, metering, again, check out that Nikon Z Photography Fundamentals course found linked in the video description. Use that coupon for 20% off. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.